Hey, hi, and welcome to the channel. A lot of you know already that this has been a long time since the last upload, but hey, maybe I do have a reason for that. And if so, I'm not gonna tell it, the video will be too long. Let me introduce me first for those who don't know who I am. My name is Marnen, and we go on with the five minutes Friday where we left it the last time, and that's with a retaining wall. So hopefully you enjoy it after the intro. Stay tuned. Yeah, I know, it's been a year since the last upload and the work we did on a retaining wall. What we need are a couple of things. I just threw them on the bench. I like the ammo but make neutral wash. We need a cup or something for the Odola's dinner. The wall, brushes, a pipette. First we start adding a little bit of Odola's dinner into the cup with a pipette. If you call it that way, I don't know. And we screw the lid back on. You know, just in case you throw the bottle. And then start shaking. I added a steel ball, stainless steel. And we start adding the wash, pretty generous, generous on the wall. Don't mind the amount, just generous. You know, this wash is animal based, so uh, you can add it generous, it can be activated again. And then you need some kind of makeup sponge. You know, I think this one is for eyeshadow, I don't know, I bought it in the store. These uh, Q-tips work too. And we start cleaning. The point of all this is that you leave the, the wash in the crevices, or how you call it. And then it's time to talk oil paints. You know, oil paints are a great medium. We need kitchen paper, piece of card, paint, and brushes. And I prefer these uh, pretty long uh, synthetic ones. Start adding the oil paints the couple of the colors we need i will leave um, the colors underneath here in the description and let's soak it for a while so the linseed will soak into the cart as you see a little bit half or dollars thinner again And then we start adding shadows. We, die, we take dark, dark colors, we moisten the brush a bit and uh, add a little bit of paint on the tip of the brush and start painting just like that. Most of the time I start with a dark color like a raw umber, or a raw umber green tone or something. I don't know exactly, but it works okay. And we drop a bit on the bottom of the stones. So we paint a little bit, you know, oils tend to dry pretty slow, so you have lots of working time. And then we take a flat brush, a dry one, and start dabbling, dizzling, spreading the paint, and blend it. Now it's time to add a little bit of light color, 
the highlights on the stones or the rocks, rocks, stones, 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 rocks. You know, same trick again. Blend it with a dry clean brush. Fade it and work your way around. Yeah, it's a little bit, you know, it's a lot of work, but the result will be pretty. We can darken the joints, add a little bit of brown, green, kind of tone, go back and forth, stones again. You know, take your time and it will be pretty. You need some yellows to brighten the greens, use flat brushes to fade, easy. Stay tuned and there's a short trick on the end of the video. Blend it with dry brushes. Oh man, I believe uh, you just have to try it, man. Really, it's not that hard. Don't be shy, just try and experiment and get a feeling for what you can do with us. It's cool. And finally, you will look a little bit like this. So if you like this content, feel free to like and subscribe. Well, you can even turn the notification on if you want. Well, a little trick I want to tell you at the end of this uh, video is that uh, if you stick a little bit of uh, double-sided tape underneath the cardboard, which you use as a pellet, it isn't shoving that much around on your desk. That's it.